Here I am in Eclipse, and I want to talk about some special things that happen um, when you try to do division with integers. So let's see something. What if I try to print the result of the math problem, 10 divided by 15. These guys both look like integers because they're whole numbers. Let's run this thing, run as Java application. Okay, oh, zero. Hmm, that doesn't seem right. Let's see. 10 divided by 15, point six 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 blah, blah, blah. Um, so what the heck is Eclipse doing, or what is Java doing? Well, it says, okay, you got an integer, you got an integer. Obviously, you want an integer as the answer. This thing is called integer division, and it happens whenever you're working with integers. If I've got numbers like this, it's real easy to force it to become a decimal value instead, and all I have to do is make one of these guys look like a double. And I don't have to do it to both, just to one. So let's go 10.0. And what happens is this thing called type promotion, which means if I have an integer and a double value mixed together in a math problem, then it makes the problem go to the more complicated type, which would be double. So if let me run this guy. Do, do, do. 0. 0.66666, blah, blah, blah like I would expect um, from my calculator. So that's cool if I've got two numbers, but what if I've got variables instead? So let's say like int x equals 10, int y equals 15. So if I do uh, x divided by y, then you're going to see I have the same problem. Okay, but I can't go like this. No, I cannot add a point zero on the end of a variable name. That doesn't make any sense. So what I actually have to do to force the decimal value to come out is called casting. And all I have to do is get right in front of one of my integer variables and wrap the word double in parentheses. And this says, just for this exact moment in time when I'm trying to print this out, pretend you're a double. And then you can go back to being an integer. But for right now, pretend you're a double. And what that will do is force the problem to, again, type promote, which will give me a decimal answer. Um, so that is integer division and how to get around it. Sometimes you want it, sometimes you don't. It depends what the situation is. Okay? I want to show you a little bit more about um, modulus. If you um, print a problem like 15 mod 10 out on the screen, then we get the remainder because 10 goes into 15 once and has 5 left over.